Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 20th, okay? Keep in mind the timing is fluid. This deck, I was thinking about it last night while I was trying to go to bed. I was like, oh, I don't know. I was thinking about the cards in this deck. And then, um, weird, weird. And then uh, I went to go do my daily vibe and I grabbed the deck. I was like, okay, that's the deck I'm going to use. So I picked it up, you know, and I looked on the bottom and we got the Hierophant. We got the Hierophant on the bottom, which is a high priest, which represents Taurus, which, you know, I am a Taurus. But so I thought, okay, well, this is the deck. But then I put the little thingy back on and I put the deck back. I was like, no, it's not that deck. And then, so I was looking, so I put the deck back and I'm sitting here with an empty table. And then I'm like, no, that is the deck. That is the deck that I need to have. So it was my gut telling me that that is the deck that I need to use. So somebody's gut is going to be speaking to them very very uh definitely okay you're going to be receiving a message you're going to hear it a couple times okay this is going to be like a repeated message that you are going to hear it's going to come from within okay listen to the message there is a reason why you are being told to do this whatever it is there's a reason i'm not sure what it is but there's a reason okay you need to believe in yourself you need to listen to your gut that's my that's my advice. Really listen to your gut. Now the Hierophant is access to God. It's also a card of faith. It's a card of um, organizations or teaching. This could be a counselor. This um, what I see when I look at this card is. Listen, listen. Listen to yourself. Are you being controlled by society? Are you being controlled by your ego? Are you being controlled by a father figure? Are you breaking the rules? Are you doing the opposite of what you say? Are you listening? Are you listening to what you're hearing? Are you listening to the messages from within? Are you listening or are you ignoring it because of the social pressure that you are under? Or is somebody pressuring you? Is somebody pressuring you to do something their way? What does your gut tell you to do? God versus Satan, right there. There we go. Okay. I mean, that is, right? We had, we just had the Hierophant. Now we got the devil and it flipped right over and these cards fell out. So there's probably going to be a fallout. Somebody is dealing with an enemy in disguise. Somebody that is disguised as a friend. This is an enemy. Okay. Um... You're going to be caught off guard. Somebody's playing mind games. They're lying. They're cheating. They may be using psychological abuse. There's some sort of social pressure, greed, materialism that is causing somebody to make a poor decision. Okay? They are. So somebody's making a poor decision because of social pressure, because of greed, because of an obsession, because of materialistic reasons, right? I mean, yeah, that's what it is. Now, the devil is somebody that is self-indulgent, you know? Yeah, they're self-indulgent. They, they're very, very much about instant gratification and it doesn't matter who they hurt the devil is a disaster okay it's a disastrous situation that usually ends badly it does always end badly because it doesn't last instant gratification is gratification that lasts for a minute but it does end badly okay this is a toxic unhealthy situation Somebody is pretending. They're hiding behind a shadow. All is not as it seems. 
very materialistic and, and it's not just materialistic it's uh, driven driven by lust driven by greed power wanting to the powers we have somebody here that wants to be in control they want the power it's an ego it's all about feeding their ego so somebody is looking to get their ego fed okay Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Doesn't matter, but this is somebody that is angry. Very, very angry and upset. Does not like to lose their power. Again, very egotistical. Five of Rods, reverse. Highly competitive. Somebody has been competing. There's been a stiff competition here. All out war, okay? It looks like, it look, I mean, there, there, there's some sort of war situation here. This is all out war. Six of Pentacles is about um, giving and receiving. So somebody is about to receive a gift. This person is in need of some help. You know, hoping to receive a gift and waiting to receive a gift. Now, the, you notice this one has the scales. This is the scale of the justice. So there's some sort of justice that is coming. Okay, justice is coming. Karma is coming, just so you know. Okay, karma is coming. Okay, you see those scales right there. That's karma, that's justice. Okay, um, this person is waiting for their gift. Now, this could be, um, she is going to receive it, getting ready to receive a gift. So, somebody's going to be receiving a gift. This is justice, okay? Um, interesting. But we have this very angry individual that, and it could be a father, it could be a boss, it could be somebody in authority, okay, that has abused their power. This is an abuse of power. It's a fatherly figure or an authoritative figure, um... This person is not interested in helping, very corrupt. This is a corrupt leader that is only out looking for their own good. This is somebody that is power hungry, that deserts you in the time of need, okay? This is um, somebody that is egotistical, lazy, unreasonable, unrealistic, very impulsive, um, that has been fighting, okay? Fighting, 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 fighting with the Five of Wands reversed. There's been a constant battle. There's been a lot of competition, a lot of backing forth. Who's going to win? I'm not going to lose, you know, that kind of thing. Wanting to win at all costs. And it's because of their ego and their pride, okay? Okay, they're under a lot of social pressure. So we have somebody here that is under a lot of, under a lot of social pressure, to win this battle okay and it could be a couple it could be a couple of people uh, it looks like there's a lot of people watching and I think things have been turned upside down okay things have turned upside down um, but we could have the end of a conflict that is coming we this is being exhausted and fed up now this is losing um control as well losing power uh i gotta get another card five of swords reversed now i just i don't want to fight anymore it's been it's but this is a very hostile situation this we have a very this is a very hostile situation with the five of swords reversed the five of wands reversed and the king of wands reversed this is very hostile there's a it's been a look at this we have a mother and a child that are scared okay they're scared they they're like what's going to happen next this person doesn't care this person doesn't care it's all about winning <laughs> sad situation Anyhow, um, lack of cooperation. This person has deserted somebody. Has deserted somebody. Uh, only looking out for themselves. Very egotistical. Wrong side of the law. Very controlling. This is a tyrant, a narcissist. Now, the Five of Swords reversed and the Five of uh, uh, Wands reversed. This is like a... a 
it's a battle. This is a war. It's a, it's a battle. So there's some sort of war that is um, happening, okay? And we know that there is, but there's, it's not just a, it's not just a, um, you know, war on the streets or a civil war. It's war in the, in the, in other arenas of your life as well. It's a full scale battle that is going on. Okay, but with the Five of Wands reversed and the Five of Swords reversed, there could be talks of peace. Okay, or there could be some crime that is being exposed. Okay, looks like we have revenge here as well. This person is very upset, so there's some sort of revenge. So, you know, something is is uh, happening based on revenge, and I think that. There needs to be a peaceful resolution, and but I don't think there's been able to be a peaceful resolution because of greed. This is greed, okay, and ego. So greed and ego and social pressure has caused this war, all right? So, um, but this is about receiving, receiving some sort of gift, we have this person that deserves it because the scales are here that deserves this gift. But we have a very greedy individual that has caused some sort of animosity. They have caused some sort of, and this person is probably naive, okay? The king of rods in reverse is naive, is, doesn't think, takes action without thinking, Okay, so, so, you know, now this five of swords reversed is, you know, do you want to continue to fight or do you want to be happy? Okay, it's time to let go of the ego. It's time to let go of the ego. Okay. So what do we got here? Yeah. Page of swords up right now. So this is a conflict, a message, something is coming that is going to make you feel conflicted. Some news, some information is coming, okay, that brings about conflict. Some There could be new, legal news that is arriving, news of legalities. This person is upset. They're upset because they lost something because of, you know, they're under social, it's embarrassing, it is. They lost. Somebody lost and they're embarrassed. That's true ego. It is. It is. So there's some sort of public speaking here as well. The emperor. We are dealing with somebody that is likes to be in control. It could be an Aries. We have Aries here. We have Taurus here. We have Capricorn, we have Leo, we have Sagittarius, um, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but this could be a child, I'm not sure. Um, but this emperor likes to be in control, does not like to be lose. This is somebody that uses their head, tries to use their head, that is, is um, has a very tough exper exterior. Now this could be a judge. So there could be upcoming news where there's a judge that gets involved or somebody that is in, in authority makes some sort of decision. But this is, I mean, the King of Rods reversed is somebody that doesn't think, that takes action without thinking based on social pressure. So this is somebody who is in, an, it could be a father. This is somebody that is in an authoritative position that is on the wrong side of the law. Okay, this person is definitely on the wrong side of the law. They're definitely not thinking clearly. Okay. This is criminal activity of some sort because of greed, lying, power hungry. Now there's now there could be the military the military could be stepping in and I know I'm changing the story a little bit but the military may be stepping in in the near future the military may be taking control we could have a ruler that is making a decision to get the military involved with this war just saying if this is the public war that we're talking about the military may be getting involved very very soon okay this is very very unhealthy 
or a judge or uh or if it's not if it's not the the uh civil war or whatever it is if it's the war that are going on in your homes or your families or whatnot this may be a superior that is getting involved um somebody that has experience death oh my god so death Death, we all know what death is. Death is an ending, a separation, or a loss. Okay, so there could be a loss that is coming up. A loss, and, and, and I'm not trying to scare anybody, but this death, and this war is causing a death. Okay, this war, this fight. Okay, and this could be the fight being over. Okay, these, this, so this fight is going to end, and maybe it's going to end because of the military, or somebody's going to die, or, you know, um, I'm just saying, I mean... There is a battle that has been going on, okay? This battle has been going on. It's clear to see that it's been going on. There's going to be some... This is unwelcome news. I don't care what anybody says. The Page of Swords de delivers facts. They deliver news. Uh, this news comes in. It, it brings about conflict, okay? It's a, it's a conflicting message. It's a message you don't want to hear, okay? Somebody is going to receive a message that they don't want to hear, and it could be in, uh, surrounding a death. Somebody may have died. Um, maybe they're very, very unhealthy, something like that. Now, this, this is an addiction, okay? So there's an addiction here. Um, now, endings lead to new beginnings. This is a profound change, a transition. This is an ending, which leads to a new beginning to follow. So somebody has been tied to a toxic situation that was based on greed. They were tied to that situation. They have be, been in some sort of battle. It's been a constant battle. It's been an all-out war. That war is going to come to an end. This person is going to make a decision that ends this war. Okay? So it's coming. All right? It is coming. Um, it probably will bring about some death. Okay, I just, I mean, I'm not, I can't, it's the truth. I'm sorry, it is what it is. There's going to be some death, okay? Um, this is a message that you don't want to hear. Nobody wants to hear it. But it is a fact of life. Anyhow, so there's, it's like, we're not going to fight anymore. We're going to stop this fighting, all right? Justice is coming. Somebody is about to receive a gift of some sort. Let's, let's clarify that. Seven of swords. Some, there's been some deception. There has. Somebody has gotten away with it. Somebody has gotten away with the goods they're trying to steal. This is a thief. This is a liar. We got somebody here that wants it all. That just wants to have it all. That wants all the money. That wants all the riches. That doesn't care who they hurt. So we have a very sneaky, sly individual that does not care who they hurt at all. This is a snake. Okay, we have a snake here. This snake is not going to get away with it. Something is going to happen. Something is going to happen because the truth is coming out. There's justice here. There's karma this person that this is looks like the mother and child that we saw here i don't know if it's if it who it is and it doesn't have to be a mother or child this person deserves it whoever deserves it is going to get this person that is so selfish and doesn't care who they hurt is about to fall flat on their face by the look they're going to get caught we can all see it now this could be this could be the looting or this is a thief or whoever it is this person is stealing they're stealing what is not theirs. It belongs to this person. I think it's a family member. It doesn't have to be. It belongs to somebody else. This is somebody that is stealing. And this is being stopped. Being blocked. They are going to be blocked. Okay, this person is going to be blocked. That's what's going to happen. So this person that is stealing, that is trying to get away with something that is not theirs, is going to be stopped. They're going to be blocked. Okay, they're going to be blocked. 
night yeah they are going to be stopped they're going to be stopped right in their tracks and i don't know if there's a judge that is making the decision or a higher power or or the military or something like that they're not going to get away with it they're not going to get away with it so i think that um we have somebody here that is going to be experiencing a financial loss. This is somebody that is very, very greedy with a Knight of Pentacles reversed. They're going to receive, be receiving some bad news. They're not going to get away with whatever they've been trying to steal. They're not going to get away with it. This person is very jealous. They may be found guilty. Somebody may be found guilty. Five of Pentacles reversed. Expect the unexpected. Okay. We got three fives now. Five, five, five. There, I think all three of them are reversed. Yes, they are. Oh, boy. Okay. We got five of Pentacles reverse, five of swords reverse, and five of rods reverse. So there's five, three fives, and they're all reverse. So expect the unexpected, and it doesn't look like it's going to be good. Okay, um, there's going to be a divinely guided major life change that you totally don't expect that changes these circumstances, and uh, it's. I think it's going to be quite a surprise to whoever this person is that thinks that they are getting all the money, that thinks that they are getting all the goods, that thinks that they are you know, getting away with whatever it is that they're getting away with. I think they're about to get a quite a surprise because there's, it's like there's, there's somebody here that, um, is going to see right through it. Okay. And they're, they're going to get caught. They're going to get caught. They're going to get stopped. They're going to get stopped in their tracks. They're not going to, it's not going to move forward. They're going to be, whoever this person is that is extremely greedy is going to be experiencing extreme financial hardship okay extreme financial hardship it's like they may even end up on welfare if they haven't been already okay this is this is a negative change this is poor health hard times financial ruin financial burdens consequences consequences for being so greedy so whoever this greedy individual is they are about to experience some consequences and the it's karma it's karma they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna lose everything that they thought that they were getting away with and this is um, something that doesn't belong to them. But they think it does because they're so greedy. Okay? So. Hmm. Anyway. Anyhow. Get prepared to hear some news. That. Um, is difficult. And it has to do with an ending. It could be a, even a death. It has to do with a profound change. This is going to be very, I think it's going to be hard to hear. Good luck.